and we get all the way to the basket. A.J. Lee trying to back in on McInnes, does and scores. Back down inside, hesitating and missing with the move inside was Jack Laffey. Down the other way, strong to the basket. There's two for Dan And Twitty on the floor for Stonehill. Straight away Largy inside the arc at the jumper. Hard out there in those first few minutes, two points, five rebounds. Bess will try a three ball and knock it down. Fouls stays in the game. Loose ball on the end line taken away by Baroa. Up the floor, Bess driving to the basket for two. Ah, uh, trans away for Morton for two. Wow, boy, the Skyhawks are talking about 6'10 quickness. Right, right back come the Skyhawks, and Ryan Logan score the basket and the foul. Outside, Largy will launch it. That's off the mark. And the ball banged up. Bowen with the rebound. Throws it up and in. What a... Outside K.J. Lee. Logan will try a three ball. He knew it as soon as he let it go. Yeah, it does lead down to one. Morton down the other end. Making a four-point lead. Oh. Now driving the baseline. Reverses up and in for Ryan Roach, who's got five points. K.J. Lee faces up. To the basket. Got two. Boy, it almost seems like he could do that whenever he wants. K.J. Best driving through for two, ties the game. Will Morton outside the arc. Straight away Largy. Now KJ Lee stepping through and got two. Nice play, good job. Ryan muscles it up and got two. 17 now for Ryan Logan. Trails by eight. Back down inside. The Skyhawks a little bit of their own with Largy for two. Timeout Sky here in the second half. He's got 16 points. Back down inside, Baroa on the nice pass from Ryan Logan. Ball. Big basket by Baroa from the perimeter. Through dozen scores. Oh, what a move. You see the difference, though, when he plays guys. Cuts to the basket as Lee comes down the other end and scores. But Stonehill, Lee scores. Outside the arc, Graves hits a three ball. If we were to talk before the game and say that Stonehill scored 95 points, 17 assists, 11 turnovers where he took care of the ball, you got to the line 18 times, um, you did a good job defensively on the glass, you scored 95 points, as I said, and you, you shot 57% from the floor, you'd normally think you won the game. And um, to do that, I mean, if we could take that every single game, why wouldn't you? On the flip side, obviously, as you mentioned, defensively was the problem. And I thought our defensive uh, attention to detail was, was not good today, um, was not even close. To win at the college level, to win in this league, to beat good teams, which they are a very good team, you need to pay attention to detail. And uh, that we didn't do that today. And uh, to give up 107 points, which is the most that we've ever given up, um, we're just it's not even close. So... I just I told our group that it's you got to do it on both ends of the floor. You got to defend. You got to pay attention to detail. And we had a I tell you a little little story that I just told our group. Um, a guy that I've I've got to know a little bit and grown to respect. His name is Gordon Chiesa. Gordon is the now one of the in the management group with the Orlando Magic. Um, he was the longtime assistant uh, with Jerry Sloan and the Utah Jazz, and. He spent years with that group, uh, a group that me growing up as a player that I just uh, fell in love with and modeled my game after Stockton and watched those guys endlessly. And the Stockton, Malone, Hornacek um, group. And Gordon was the great Jerry Sloan's assistant. And he said, I was at a clinic two years ago with Gordon, and he said, defensively, your teams are good teams. You can get beat on talent. You can't get beat on scheme. And we got beat on scheme today. We got beat on the attention to detail with our scheme where we, we talked for the last two days on that backdoor cut that they were doing off the ball screen, the weak side corner, diving, diving, diving. And we defended it in practice for the last two days, and we did a really good job. I think we gave up 16 or 18 points on backdoor cuts from the weak side corner today. Um, did we get beat off the dribble? Yeah, it did happen, but it was more of our scheme. And that's, I guess, it's something that we need to look at. Um, as a coaching staff to make sure that we're putting them in a better spot. But uh, our group, with the attention to detail, um, we talked about transition defense. 
finding guys, finding shooters. And our scheme got beat today because we just did not, not have the attention to detail with that. So it, it's it's something that we need to get better and get better at quickly. Um, and defensively that, just uh, I thought we played hard. I didn't think we played as smart and with the mindset to understand the details that it takes to win. Uh, I mean, it's no secret they, they, they take all, they take they had 35 three-point attempts tonight. That's, that's their game. Yeah. Um, but to your point, that wasn't really necessarily what killed you. It was... It was the basket underneath. Yeah, I mean they they take 30, 30 a game. They lead the league in three pointers made. They lead the league in three pointers att three attempts. Um, they've got some phenomenal mm -hmm. shooters, you know. And we they they made twelve, which is still a lot, but they took thirty five. So shooting thirty four from the floor overall in terms of percentage is pretty good defensively with their volume that they take. But it was at the rim, at the rim, at the rim. Whether it was those backdoor cuts or transition where we just we didn't do the job sprint back and talk and match up and put bodies in front of other guys and they just they got to the rim way too much against us so it goes back to to win in the college level it's the attention to detail you have to play hard that has that's a must that's a no matter what all the time intangible thing but if you want to be good if you want to be with the elite uh, you need to be with those details you need to learn to pay attention to detail and to do it all the time as you mentioned last time, you know you're right there with the teams that I man. I think you're among the teams that can be as good as anyone in this league. Six and zero in December. Now just kind of like one and four now or whatever. Just January's kind of hit you. What's kind of the difference here, and what are you guys um, kind of doing to kind of get this back on track a little? Well, bit? I think it's what we were just saying. Just if we can pay attention to the details and we can do the small little things, it's it's not getting more talent on the floor. It's not finding more shooters. We, we scored 95 points today. Uh, we, we've we beat ourselves our last four losses, I thought. Um, did Adelphi win today? Yes. Uh, but I think we allowed them to because we didn't pay attention to those details. Do we come out on top? Well, I would love to do it again. And if we did what we talked about for, with the scout and see how the how the chips fall that way. You know, our, our three, we won at pace on, on Saturday. Um, our three losses prior were you're up. You're up six uh, um, at Lemoyne on the road. You're up four with a minute 30 left in the game. You lose by one. Southern Connecticut, a top three team in the region, you were up 17 at halftime, and we lose by nine, I believe it was. At, at New Haven, you're up up three at the brink. You're up 10 with 10 minutes to go, I think it was, or whatever the case may be. We lost that one. We, we have not completed 40-minute games with that attention to detail. Um, I, to be honest, I think we're one of the most skilled teams in this league. I think we are one of the most talented league teams in this league. We've got one of the best players in the country in Ryan Logan, and we've got a lot of talent around him. It, but it's the other stuff. It's the defensively. It's the defensive side of things. It's the attention to detail. If we put that together, we are, we're we're one of the elite teams, and we're still capable of it. But we got to learn to do it for 40 minutes. We got to learn to buy into those little things. It's not just all right. Here's a basketball. Go score. You got to. Because there's other really good players on the other side, and they're trying to do the same things, and the good teams can put skill with details together, and we got to learn how to do the details. Uh, you know, it's tough to talk about this after a loss, but Ryan Logan, like you, like you mentioned, named one of the top 100 players you know, on that watch list for a yeah. national player of the year. Just talk about that and what that means to the program, him, and kind of reward for him. I mean, it's, a, it's such a tremendous honor for Ryan to be named to the Bebo list. Uh, obviously, he was a phenomenal player. Um, and now for Ryan to, to just get nominated and be a part of it, it shows all the hard work that's gone into it. Um, for him, uh, his play has certainly um, been deserving of that. Um, and then I think it's – is I think for Ryan, though – I don't think it's anything that I think he's very appreciative and very thankful to to be a part of that group and be on it. But for him, he's still going to show up to work tomorrow and keep working, keep trying to get better. Um, but just a, a fantastic honor for him for the program to be mentioned in that in that group being across the country. Um, we're very very appreciative and thankful that the the committee um, added Ryan to the list and uh, glad that they saw how good he is. Uh, on the road Saturday, I see just I mean. Obviously, another team is strong, usually strong defensively. Yep. So, I mean, it kind of probably be a little bit of a difference, for, for, probably, hopefully, than <laughs> to what it was today. Yeah, we got to make sure we don't give uh, <laughs> AIC 107 points, and uh, we we got to get those details done. We're going to be back, uh, obviously, practicing, trying to work on it, showing film, teaching teaching our group. Um, the skills there, the talents there. Now it's the, all the little things that go into championship level teams. And if this group figures it out, there's still enough time. But if they don't. Time's running out on the on the other side of things. It's just uh, it's not the 
uh, the pre-college era where, all right, you've got another game later on today or <laughs> two tomorrow with uh, some of the the tournaments that go on uh, prior to college. So it's it's once a weekend, once, twice a week, and it's you got to figure it out and you got to get it done. Or there there's a lot of unforgiving situations and other teams will really take advantage as they did today on us.